Roland. Yeah. Hello and welcome to today's YouTube video. We are at a mountain bike trail. This is the new t-shirt that's just gone online. It Owner looks crazy on it, yeah. Does it? Yeah. Ownerofficial.com. It's probably the sickest shirt we've made yet, actually. Every single other one has sold out pretty much. Ownerofficial.com. Right, so. Hello and welcome to Healy Nab. Healy Nab is in Chorley. Is it in Chorley or is it? It's, I think it's technically Heapy, but yeah, Chorley. Heathy. Heathy or Heathy? Heapy. Heapy? Yeah. Heapy, innit, round here? Bit of Heapy GP. Bit of Heapy GP. Okay, so we are basically going to go blind into the black room. I think it should be okay. It is a trail. I am on a trail bike. I do have Fox 40s on a Nomad with 600mm travel on the rear. The V180 Snake is ready to ride. It's going to be insane. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm out alone. Gaz has got the camcorder. Say your 600 travel on the rear. 600 travel, imagine. <laughs> See, I did say that, I think, though. You did. 600 pound spring on the rear. Gaz has the camcorder with us and all the cameras. We have all the gear. We're hoping we've got about an hour till it goes dark at 7 pm. It's extremely empty. There's no one here. I don't think anyone would be crazy enough to ride the nab. I have heard crazy stuff about this. Without any more waffling on, because that was a bit waffly, wasn't it? It was sound, I liked it. Please, please, <laughs> please smash the thumbs up button. Please. Just smash the thumbs up button, please. Oh, there's some rain up lens there. I'm going down with goggles and an Enduro helmet. Never really ridden like this before. Road Southport Skate Park like this, didn't I? <laughs> you did. No way. How do I look, guys? Ready to ride. You look ready to ride. Ready to roll. Okay, so we're going to switch it to the GoPro. I'm going to run, do this run blind and then we're going to walk it on the camcorder. Healy Nab, let's do this. Look after me, it is very, very wet today. Healy Nab, black run. Here we go. Rocks. This is all blind, by the way. I just kind of want to try it out. I want to see what we're working with. Oh my days. Rocky run. Not too bad. Not too bad. Whoa! Oh. Okay, I think this is another section of the black. Black run. Healing up. That's the way I was going. Oh my god. There's like three routes here. One on the left, one on the outside. We're gonna take this one. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! This is actually crazy. Healy nav. I need to get a bit of pace going. Oh my days. Yo, how you doing? Just having a quick first run. Visibility is quite limited. Oh my god. This is sick. You can actually get some good runs in there. First impressions. Ah, obviously that was just a blind crawl. There is a lot of lines. I feel like really I would need to be behind a local. Look how steep this stuff is. We have got a lot to learn on this place. Oh my God, Healy Nab was quite crazy. It is so steep, look up there. It is so steep, like steep, steep. This is pretty steep for a trail. And I was hoping for the first run to go fast, but I couldn't really get any speed because there was so many options for different trails that I stopped every time. I was like, oh my God, like there's one further that way. There's one over there, look, next to us there. I came down this one. Didn't even get a chance to jump any of these drops because obviously it was my first run. I'm just like overwhelmed with the place, running it blind. It seems that riders just push up to there because there's two riders that have came. I'm running tinted goggles, look. So because I'm running tinted goggles, really smart of me. <laughs> Basically, it's pretty much impossible to see. I might try and take a run without goggles on. Mm. See what happens. I'm going to do that. You just add to my pile add of things. Add to your pile of things. Okay, guys, you will see me coming through these two steps here. Oh, my son here? Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. Works, doesn't it? Yep. For now. We'll do a quick clip now. I'm going to do another GoPro run through with no goggles following these guys. But well, basically, anyway, then we'll film a full walk through the black. Let's do it. Yeah. 
No, that's the wrong one. Oh no, it's the right one. Move fast, run all the way down now. No braking. Awesome location each time I get to the bottom I'm like wow for a little push-up park what an awesome free location to ride healing up I'm gonna give you a solid 6.5 slash 7 it is very technical <sighs> perfect push-up perfect and I want to say absolutely perfect push-up tracks the push-ups are only about 1.5 minutes I want to say if you're chilling plenty of space on the tracks it's just an awesome spot to ride. Okay, so we just did the second run down Healy Nab. I think I could go a lot faster. I didn't get anything in my eyes without my goggles, so I'm going to stay goggleless for the remainder of today's session. Honestly, I've just said this on the GoPro. I'm not sure whether it'll make the cut off the GoPro, but I would rate this place a solid. To, to really improve your technical ability, I would rate this place like solid. Like I think this is pretty pretty scary. Like obviously, I'm from BMX. I'm not. A crazy downhill mountain bike racer. I'm on a journey to be better at downhill. And I think this is pretty challenging. It's a black run. It's about 60 second push up, maybe more, maybe 1.5 minutes. Um, and I would say it's a solid seven on the Richter scale. <laughs> it's quite mad, you know. Like, that is quite mad, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. In the wet, we've got to come back here in the dry and we've got to come here on a trail bike, yeah. like without downhill folks. <laughs> I'm going to do another run through here. I'm going to do one more run again. Yeah. Get this same section. I'm going to try and go a bit quicker. Yeah. I'm just going to try and sliver it a bit more. Um, I feel quite stiff on the bike as well. I don't know whether anyone can give me advice on that, but kind of. I think I've been told actually to bend a bit, to bend my arms a bit more on the, in the comments, but. Yeah. I think I just need to loosen up. That's what I would advise someone in BMX to do. Loosen up. Everything feels easy when you loosen up. Is that a drop there? Probably. That looks heavy, that. Quite mad here, you know. There's like another line over there as well. I think that one and the other one are red. I think it's red, red, black. Yeah. But let's do it. Run number three. See you at the top. Hidden behind the tree. <laughs> Mate, this place is really, really cool. <laughs> okay, guys, it's getting weird now. Turn it off. Don't lie to me. Did it look any better through that? I've no idea. I was watching the screen, not you. 
<laughs> that means nobody in the nice way. Nicest way possible. Is it? No, I don't know. I, I think it looked all right. I tried to be a bit fast, a bit more like... A bit looser. And I don't think it changed anything. <laughs> <laughs> not used to ramming out goggles, even my eyes are so watery. Halfway down, I'm like, dead quick. <laughs> it's crazy. Really good though. Some of the berms are crazy. I think in the dry, this place would be mental. I'm going to take a fourth run. Let's see if I can go a bit faster. Feels quite good. The bike feels, even though the 600 on the back, 180, 180, 40 is on the front. It definitely feels still like a trail bike. It just doesn't have that like on the limit feel on the bars, but at the back end, it still feels quite gnarly. It's really cool actually. I'm getting more and more into it each time I ride. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm getting very close to trying a set of 36s on it. That doesn't mean that I don't love the 40s. For somewhere like Morzine, Fort William, Revolution Bike Park, I would always, always want the 40s. But I am really inspired to hit more trails at the moment, actually. I just feel real into it, just trying different stuff. You don't know what to expect. You've got to earn the ride a little bit to get there. If you're into trail riding, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's go up. Yes, it was an amazing session. I don't feel like I gained much speed today. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I did try. I've got a question to every mountain biker watching this right now. Number one. So that means there's more than one question. How can I gain more speed? Educate me. Comment below. Educate me and I will listen and I will try. Number two. If you're after this t-shirt, ownerofficial.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the description in today's video actually. Um, go and buy it. Hit me up. Send me some pictures wearing the garments and I'll drop a share on the Instagram of the brand. And... Shout out to V180 Snake. Anything else you want to chat about as well? Comment below. I am uploading a few times a week at the moment. It's really fun. We are heading out tomorrow for another mountain bike day. Probably in the rain. So hit me up and I will see you guys tomorrow at roughly 7.30pm. Peace.